Hi YouTubers, I'm Al from AlbaPepper.com. Today I'm going to show you what I do to get my Venus fly traps through a cold dormancy. Dormancy? Some people might ask. Right, well, plants could be classified in two simple ways, as being tropical or as being temperate. If you're talking about a tropical plant, it has grown in a warm area where you don't experience frigid temperatures. And so plants that are used to being able to grow year round have never really developed the mechanisms necessary to deal with extreme freezing cold. Now, temperate plants, on the other hand, well, they're used to that. They have been able to deal with cold winter months by undergoing a period of cold dormancy. And this dormancy cycle that plants go under is similar to what animals might do when they hibernate for the winter. So now, what about fly traps? Well, the native area that you can find them in is North and South Carolina, and this is in fact a temperate region. So fly traps expect that it's going to get cold at some point. In fact, some sources, if you've done some research, will tell you that in two to three years, if a fly trap isn't allowed to undergo dormancy, it will actually die. In its natural habitat, a fly trap is able to take cues from nature as it gets colder, as the days get shorter. This allows the fly trap to make the preparations to slowly get ready for its dormancy. And that allows it to be sustained throughout the winter outdoors, even though it gets pretty cold. But remember, the area where you'll find fly traps in the wild is really USDA Zone 8. So if you're outside of that range, maybe you're in, say, Zone 3. Well, it gets extremely cold in that zone. And that's just too cold for a fly trap to be able to handle. Of course, if you're in a tropical zone, well, it will never even get cold enough to trigger those proper cues to let the fly trap know to go dormant and to stay dormant for a period of time. But there is a way to deal with that, and that is to put the fly traps into the refrigerator. Here I have everything I need, a jar of distilled water, a spritz bottle of distilled water, a clean sterile container, fresh, unused, horticultural grade vermiculite, and of course, my fly traps. These guys have been exposed to cool temperatures and short day cycles. I've stopped feeding them as well, and although the soil isn't dry, I haven't been keeping it quite as moist as normal. So growth has slowed and my fly traps are prepared for cold dormancy. So now it's time to pull them out of my container. And here I've gently done so, trying not to damage the roots. I've separated them and now I'm going to rinse them. To get off all of the potting mix, I did a quick rinse in my sink and then I thoroughly sprayed and cleaned them off in distilled water. Now I'm going to start trimming off all those dead leaves. Now some people might leave them on but I want a clean, sterile environment. So I'm going through each plant, trimming them off, only the tops, of course. I don't mess with the roots. And then I lay each one out in a single layer on the vermiculite. I decided to try this technique because other instructionals always seem to indicate the need for a fungicide. I don't want to have fungus destroying my plants, but I also don't want to use a chemical treatment on them but by cleaning the plants and packing them in a sterile vermiculite and using only distilled water, I have no issues whatsoever. Really, what is there for any molds or mildews to feed on? So now, these little guys are cleaned up. And here's my biggest one from this year. I have some healthy leaves here, but look here at this part. This bulb is where all of the energy is stored. This is what will really sustain this plant through its slumber. And this is what will launch it into growth 
once it wakes up. These fly traps will produce little babies that can be separated and spaced out in the spring when we repot. That's a great way to bolster their ranks and even produce some that you can share with a friend. First things first though, let's finish our preparations. I'm thoroughly spritzing these with more distilled water. I'm also wetting this vermiculite, allowing it to soak in water while not flooding the whole container. There's still lots of air in here. And now I've sprinkled on the top layer of vermiculite, nicely tucking them in for their long slumber. And I'm spritzing just a little more water. Then I'll put the lid on and into my fridge they go. I've kept them in the crisper drawer for three months. So, did they make it? Let's open it up and look. I haven't opened this in three months, but it's looking good here. No mold, no slime, the plants are still green. They actually look pretty good to me without using any fungicides at all. Time to pot them up. I've been experimenting with my own special mix. Most commonly people use peat moss and sand, but I've been testing coir, vermiculite, zeolite, and perlite. The key is to keep the salt and fertilizer levels low. The ppm of your water should be under 50. In my container setup, I'm using a sub-irrigated design, which has proved to work well for me. This is my elbow spindle container made from upcycled CD DVD cases. And here are my happy little fly traps. That's it guys, a simple way to enter a deep state of cold dormancy. Your fly traps in the refrigerator are kept just above freezing, but they're definitely cold enough that they can go through a very deep dormant cycle where there's no photosynthesis occurring and the plants don't require any light to survive, even through the course of three full months. After two years of doing this, I've found that my fly traps have done well, they continue to grow and to propagate. It didn't take long and very soon they burst forth with some new fresh growth. Thanks for watching this video. Maybe it's shown a lesser known way that might really work for you, allowing you to put your fly traps to bed for a while so that they can continue to thrive even after the first couple of years of owning them. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, I would like to wish you happy gardening.